Hey everybody, it's Julie with Sisters of the Moon. Um, I'm trying to distract myself from what's happening um, in Ukraine right now, so I thought I would do a little video. Um, I have some new stuff, a little haul, and then some stuff my friend sent. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a little, little video. Um, I have my ground and shield candle going. Um, it's another practical magic candle, just felt appropriate. Um, I did a little candle ritual last night. If this video doesn't get too long, I'll toss it on the end maybe. Um, so let's get into it. So I picked up some really cool books. Um, I think it was Friday. And then today is Thursday, so this is like a few days ago. So this book's super cute. It's two-sided, so it's crepes and omelets. And then on the omelet side is yellow paper. And then um, the other side is like a more just, I don't know, what's, the, what's that color? I don't know. Um... And this book is from 1976, so it has really cute pictures, like it would make a great page in a junk journal, so this is something I picked up for that. So that'll go in my stash. I'm slowly making my way through. A lot of people have been buying ephemera packs, which is great because I get to move some of the stuff because I have way too much. Um, this... I was gonna cut up, but I'm not sure. I think it's really cute. So this may go in the shop, it may not. Um, there was like a 74 too. I think it had something in, with moon phases in here, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, I don't know, so cute book. I don't get patterns very often anymore. Um, they have to be really like special standout. Um, but I thought this was kind of cool, different. I've not seen one like this. It's 1985. I definitely love cabbage, cabbage patch kids and I would have like been thrilled. My mom made a lot of clothes for me. I would have been thrilled to have a matching set. Um, it's funny, this book is in another booth in Mountain Treasures where our shop is. And I almost, I picked it up and looked at it and I was like, that's really cool. But I try not to spend too much there, um, you know, because it could easily get, you know, don't want to put all my money back there. I do spend some money, but anyways, this is from 1955, um, originally uh, in 19, was printed in 1927, um, and it has, it's amazing, like, the paper is, has, is that, like, soft, smooth, but not super shiny paper, um, not sure what I'm gonna do with that, that might get, I think it's a more rare book, actually, surprising that I found two on the same day, um, these are great. I have cut up several. I have not got the birds one yet, and it's not in very good condition. So this will definitely go into ephemera packs. Each page is super cool. Um, they have one on crystals that I've been trying to get my hands on. Um, the tree book is really cool. Um, trying to think. I think they have one on reptiles. Yeah, so these are great little things. Um, I'm a big fan of anything medical um, related. I have a human anatomy book from like the early 1900s that is in my bookshelf and I love it. So this isn't anything super spectacular, but it's got aged paper, really cool, different things. You know, it's a medical journal, so it's going to have all kinds of <laughs> things in here. So this will be perfect for like the novel paper packs that I do. 
Um, <clears throat> I grabbed this because it has mold, like the cutest mullein paper I've ever seen. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this out, cut the book block out, leave, it'll leave this part and then it can be turned into a super cute little nature journal. This is probably the most interesting thing I found. I hope it's in frame. I think so. Okay, so I've never seen one anything like this. Uh, Public Works, a handbook for self-reliant living. And yeah, it's just, it has so much crazy information in here. Um, it reminded me of a Sears Robux catalog, which is why I grabbed it. Um, but now that I like, have looked through it, it's like one of those things that's like got really, really awesome information in it. Um, it's from 1974. It does have some water damage. Um, but I mean, conserving foods, hay fever, like you can see what to do if somebody has a stroke. Um, it has like you know, growing different foods in different climates, recipes. Like, really, really interesting. This was in it. So, somebody bookmarked removing stains from fabric, and it's like everything that you could ever stain something with. Which is, I was like, hmm, I might have to read that page sometimes I'll tell you building shelter digging like an aqueduct like I mean just so much stuff it's super cool I don't know we'll see and then this I got specifically for junk journal stuff and then I looked it up and it's actually worth a little bit of money so this may go into the store um this is a visual garden manual from sunset magazine uh eighth printing this is from 1947 this book was printed it's in really really good condition for that um for its age um i think it's really cool because each like flower, herb, whatever, you know, vegetable that you're growing has its own page. So like dahlias are my favorite. It's all kinds of information just right there. So, yep, again, not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Um, most of the ones I found did not have the cover anymore. So that one's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna get into the other stuff. Um, my friend Vanessa lives in Indiana and she is like the queen of like finding cool things. She seriously has property and she just goes hiking and she finds all this, I mean, insane stuff. So she, the first thing I opened the bag already, um, catch her on the rye book. I will be honest. I don't think I've ever read this and this one is from 1962, great aged paper. I haven't looked at any of the stuff in this bag. I do know what some of it is, but I have several more bags coming from her, so I don't know what's in here. Okay, so this is, she, like I said, she finds crazy stuff. So this is a full bag of seashells. Um, I did not know I was getting. There's always surprises. Abalone, looks like. Nice. Very, very cool. You can always use more of those. So she sent me a picture of this. She's like, do you have this? And I was like, no, but I've seen it on Amazon. <laughs> So it's like a brand new one. So super cool. Little chime candles. Um, birds. 
it's not going to open, but in here we have Sage Yarrow, which is Jen's favorite, um, the other half of Sisters of the Moon, my best friend slash sister. Uh, St. John's Wort Alfalfa Blessed Thistle, I used that in my ritual last night. Rose Petals, I used Hyssop last night. Lavender Mugwort, Nettle Leaf, Raspberry Leaf, so they're all great, useful um, herbs. Oh, cute little parchment cards, love that. And then some chip stones. So, super cool. Love it. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is rad. So she knows that I make like, um, like moon water bottles out of old bottles. So this can definitely get, I can make a decal to put on here, put crystals, it's still got the cork which is nice, um, very cute. I love the color and the size. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> so Jen's gonna steal this, I am sure. <laughs> oh, I should have hair dried it. Okay, so pro tip, if there's tape, don't touch it. Take your hair dryer. It'll heat the tape and not wreck your item. This is full of stuff. Oh. I might have to do this off camera later and be gentle, but I really wanna see what's in here. There you go. Buttons, yay. So I'm a total nerd and I'm obsessed with antique vintage buttons. I sell a lot, um, I'm in a couple groups. But I also have a huge collection. Um, I have plans for some of some of them. These are really cool. Nice variety of metal. Got um, that's a navy button. Got um, Victorian buttons in here. Those are my favorite. Any, anything from the Victorian era, button-wise, are like my jam. Love, love, love those buttons. Little bird. Bobblehead. Oh, I have a new skull. I will have to ask what this is. Looks like had pretty sharp teeth. I wonder. Hmm. I'm have to give her a little message. That is super cool. And then. Ooh. Well, this is gothic and beautiful. So pretty. old buckle. So buckles like this weren't just used in the 80s. They are from far before that. So this is, I would guess, maybe like, I don't know, it could be anywhere from like 30s to the 70s, really. Um, okay, next thing, got to couple more books. Dance to the Piper. Ooh. 1952. This is very cool. Have to look into that. And then we have Roots. Oh, excuse me. Piece of lint. She's found some of my favorite vintage books that I have in my collection, like my herb books and stuff have come from her. Um, this is Reader's Digest, 1974. And I am not sure. Hmm, it looks like it's a novel. Very cool. Okay. 
Oh, I know what this is. I'm going to save that for last. I cannot even begin to express how excited I am about that. Interesting. This is going to be interesting to flip through. <laughs> Intense. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Okay. That is interesting. Part of the fun is when it's something you don't know, like looking it up and learning about it. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, so she sent me the green one that matches this already and it's hanging in my kitchen and this is going to join it. That's so exciting. I'm a big fan of old trivets. I have too, like way too many things that I like. Okay, I have a huge bag of clothes. Um, it's all vintage stuff. Um, I hand picked with her. We did it like FaceTime and I picked out most of this stuff. Okay, so Jen is probably going to take maybe one of these up, but we have legit vintage handmade schoolgirl skirts. This one is not, but some of them are. Um, so we're talking, you know, 60s, 70s with these. This is the one she will probably want. So freaking cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Love them. And there's the last one. This, there are different sizes, which is nice, and different fabrics. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Oh. <laughs> This is a little jumper. This will probably fit Elena and she will love it. She's a big fan of cats. It has cute little buttons. That definitely looks handmade to me. Oh, wow. If that isn't 70s freaking fabulousness, I don't know what is. Off the shoulder, bell sleeves. That's freaking adorable. always fun when your alarm goes off um oh wow okay so this is like satin it's definitely handmade this is old it has lace on the um geez I can't think this is super cute. This has got to be like 40s, 50s. Beautiful. Oh, I found more skirts. This one's super cute. Classic plaid. And this... We had another one, but it sold. This is a vintage velvet shawl with fringe. Very Stevie Nicks. It's really long. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see. This is like a prairie style dress. Lace. Oh, sorry, Thumpcha. 
Moo Moo's are highly underrated. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is another handmade piece. Freaking precious. Oh. Long sleeve dress. Really cute seam down the front. See, this is what could have been made with those patterns. Like, I love it. It's so cute. It's kind of tiny, but I can think of a few girls that that would look adorable on. So this, this is super witchy, um, another handmade piece. Um, it's got that collar lining that make your boobs look awesome, which I love. And then the sleeves are super, I don't even know if that's in screen, but they have the like draping taper. And then it has the same down here. It's like rayon maybe I, I don't know but um she sent this because we're planning to do another photo shoot and that might get used well probably won't get used okay just a couple more things and we'll be done oh cute another moo moo of sorts did i feel pockets no yes it has pockets guys this is like, I'd say at least 20 years old. See, people knew. Cute embroidery. Okay, this is something as long as it fits and doesn't like hang weird because sometimes older stuff hangs weird. This is something that I'm going to keep. I saw it on her table and I'm like, yep, I need that. <laughs> so um, this will be in my closet, I think. I love it so, so, so much. It's from Extra Touch. I'd say this is probably like 90s. Really excited about that. Okay, last thing. This is not going to be for sale. Um, we made a deal when we talked about this next piece that I'm gonna show. Um, it's worth a hell of a lot more than she, um, sold it to me for. Super thankful for her. She just, her and my friend Sarah, I will link their pages below. Amazing people. Um, so here we go. Okay, so I mentioned that Victorian stuff, that I love it. I grew up with cars from, you know, early, early cars. Um, lots of Victorian clothing for outings and stuff with my parents. This is a Victorian, so we're talking 1800, late 1800s, handmade cape. Okay, so it was probably used as a morning cape at the time like you know for the death of a loved one because they would wear black for like months um it's handmade silk lining like i really i wish that i could show you how truly magical this is it has a tie it has inside pockets even the bias tape that was used is detailed and unique. The buttons are really detailed. Like this is just I can't I can't believe it's here. I've been waiting. So this it does need to be uh, fixed just a little bit. Um, there are a couple places that need some TLC, but luckily 
There's a seamstress in the family who is great. This other button. So this will be in an upcoming photo shoot for sure. Um, this is not something that I will ever sell. Um, even the back has, it has ruffles at the bottom. Like absolutely stunning. So this is gonna go get hung up in my closet. Probably will sage everything first, just because, I mean, obviously, that cape has seen some sad times, I'm sure. Um, yeah, um, definitely gonna sage. Um, I'm gonna check the video. If it is possible, I will put the, um, my ritual from last night up real quick. Um, I hope everybody is safe. Um, take care of yourselves and each other, and I will um, be back with you soon.